I am officially a senior. It's been crazy, guys. So this past week, I have literally been starting school this week. So come on, give me a break. It's school's first week. I had to get into it and everything. So I've been reviewing as many Stephen King's movies, but this movie actually came on TV this week, and I was like, I haven't got a recommendation to review a Stephen King, so I'm going to watch this movie on TV. So I watched it on TV, and I am so glad I did because I totally forgot how great of a movie this is. So, let's talk about probably not as scary uh, Stephen King movie like you thought. Hey, don't forget, he does do dramas. The Green Mile. This movie was directed by Frank Darabont, the guy who also directed The Shawshank Redemption, which was also another Stephen King movie, which is also another prison movie. And I'm going to go ahead and say this right now to go ahead and get away. I love The Shawshank Redemption. It's a great film. It's a masterpiece and everything. But I can watch this movie more than The Shawshank Redemption. I know, just go ahead and dislike the video and pray for me to die tonight. But I I can watch this movie, even though it's three hours long, I can watch this movie more than The Shawshank. Because this movie makes me cry every time I watch it. Every time. It's insane. It's sad. Don't watch this film if, unless you want to cry. Besides that, the movie's great. So listen, so this movie came out in 1999, and I was actually born this year. Little fact, I'm 17 years old, almost turning 18 in October. Fact for you about myself. Anyways, the movie stars Tom Hanks, Michael Clark Duncan, and a bunch of other people. And basically, this movie is about... The beginning It's set where Tom Hanks is an old guy, and he's telling his story of what happened, how he met this prisoner. And so, he, Michael Clark Duncan, who is a huge dude, he's a tall prisoner. He gets sent into jail, whatever. He was sent to jail for murder, but did he do it? Who knows, but he has special abilities. He can pretty much take any person who is like have a sickness or like death cure, like death thing that can make them die or whatever. He can take what's make what's wrong with people, take it out of them, like suck it out of them, and then he'll like just spit up flies and moths and they'll just disappear. So he's pretty much trying to save people. Like God sent him down to earth and he is trying to save each individual who is nice to him and all the bad people he's trying to get rid of. And that's what happens to Percy in this movie. Percy is one of the prison guards here and I forget the actor's name. But I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. The acting is literally amazing in this movie. Tom Hanks leads this movie well. He is great. It's Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is literally amazing in this movie. He's great as this prison guard. He's so cool. He's such a nice guy. And he's such a douche because he has to. He's a prison guard. What happens on the Green Mile stays on the mile. That's like that's one of their mottos. All the prison, all the guards, whatever, they feel like friends. It's so great. Freaking Dale from Walking Dead, he's one of the guards. All the guards together, they feel like friends friends and it's great they feel like they're actually good buddies they work together they go and eat barbecue today after a prison work whatever like these feel like friends and i love that of course the guy who plays percy the dickhead of all dickheads i'm telling you when you watch this movie you want percy just to die man and he gets it what he gets at the very end of this movie but the guy who plays him does an amazing job amazing job. The guy, one, I forget the prison guy, he's from Jurassic Park 3. He plays one of the guys who has Mr. Jingles, the little mouse, whatever, which is just adorable and cute in his relationship, and he was great. One of the scene stealers of the whole entire movie is, you know, Sam Rockwell himself is a psychopath and hilarious at the same time. He almost steals the movie. He almost does. He is great in this movie. He is absolutely great. He is so underrated in this movie. No one talks about Sam Rockwell's performance in The Green Mile. It is literally Oscar worthy. If it wasn't for Michael Clark Duncan, I think Sam Rockwell might have even come in, got that nomination. But now let's talk about my biggest thing. It's the best thing about this movie, and that is Michael Clark Duncan. The guy who steals the entire movie. Listen, it is literally amazing to me how he did not win that Oscar. Michael Clark Duncan was nominated for Best Supporting Actor. He didn't win. Michael Caine won. I love Michael Caine. But I'm sorry. Michael Clark Duncan deserved that Oscar. He makes me Ball at the very end when he says, don't put that on my head, I was afraid of the dark. That is just tear-breaking stuff, and it is insane he did not win that Oscar. 
It makes me mad every time I watch the movie. I'm like, how did he not win? Michael Clark Duncan steals the entire movie. His performance is amazing. I love his character and how he's trying to help. The, he, he's framed for killing two little girls, but in true honesty, he's just, he was trying to save them. And it turns out, Sam Rockwell, the, one, the guy who's right across from him, is the murderer. He murders the two girls. By the way, this review contains spoilers. I forgot to say that. But it's so sad and like disturbing at the same time. And it's such a great story of how like he's trying to get to Michael Clark Duncan. He's gonna try to save uh, the judge's wife, or like not judge, uh, the guy who owns the prison, right? He his wife is sick and he's gotta get her to help whoever and he Michael Clark Duncan saves her. Like this is such a great story, and my gosh, the guy who plays Percy. That scene with the freaking, he doesn't wet the sponge and he kills the Indian guy, or not the Indian guy, it was the, it was the guy from Death Park 3, it gives me goosebumps every time. Because the directing, the sound design, the camera work, the intensity, it is great. Frank Darabont did an amazing job. The cinematography is beautiful in this movie. The directing is perfect. It's great. There's some intense, scary moments. There's some eyes bawling scenes. The performances are great. The story is great. It's a three-hour movie, but every time I watch it, it flies by because the story is so good, and that is why I'm going to give The Green Mile an A+. It is one of my favorite prison movies, maybe even my favorite. I love this movie. It's got great characters, a great story. It's sad as hell, but dang, is it a good movie. So, hey guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me a Stephen King movie review. Again, he doesn't just do horror. I might do another drama next. It could be Shawshank, it could be Stand By Me, or it could be The Shining. Who knows? And hey guys, guys, enjoyed this review, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys.